Hi friends, the name is SD Williams, your motivational godfather. I'm here because you know I love you and I believe in you. We still continue with um, Think Smart episode. We're still in Ghana. And um, one thing I've been wondering about is elections. African leaders have been, like, you know, doing the same thing and they've been following the same procedure. So, it made me do the research and after I wrote this book, when I wrote this book, that it's called The School Life. It says, your youthful days links up to your future. I wrote a paragraph in there and I add this to it because I did a research and I found out. It seems like since the time of Memoria, when um, the Europeans left Africa, and leave us with democracy, which I really love. I love democracy. I enjoy democracy. Like, you know, democracy, it's good. I love it. But one thing that seems like democracy has left us is corruption. And incompetent leadership. And leaderships that think about the next election instead of the next generation. That's what I think. And I could see. All right, let's see. In this page of the school life, it says, when African leaders create loot and share money from the poor citizens, they all seem to follow the same protocol. One, they all prefer to keep the money in Swiss bank and now they've turned it to Dubai. Oh, second, if they're looking for medical or they're sick, they're looking for medical treatment or attention, they go to Germany or India. When they want somewhere to invest, a country to invest, they go to America, either North America or South America. But they go to America or they go to Dubai. Recently, they've been going to Dubai now. Uh, and if they want to buy a house or a mansion, they go to United Kingdom, London precisely. When they want to shop, they go to Dubai. When they want a place for holiday, family holidays, they go to Paris or Bahamas. Or they go to Hawaii. When they want to educate their children, they go to English-speaking countries such as Europe, somewhere in Europe like UK, Australia, and uh, Canada sometimes. And when they want to pray, they go to Saudi Arabia or Jerusalem. But when they die, they want to be buried in Africa. The question is, is Africa a cemetery? That's the question we should ask ourselves. Is Africa a cemetery? I prefer a leader or a preferred politician who steal the money of the country and build or build a business or do business with the money in the country. At least someone in the country will benefit. Instead of you taking the money to Swiss Bank, instead of you taking the money to Dubai, instead of you taking the money to somewhere that none of your citizens may enjoy. Does it make sense? The ball is in your court. Your Ghanaians are going to make decision on the 7th of December. The ball is in your court again. It's up to you to use the biggest notebook in the world that God has given you. You have your head. Your friends have his head. Or your mom have her head. Your head doesn't belong to anybody. It belongs to you. So use it. Use it wisely. Vote wisely. Select person that you believe in. Select someone with example. Select someone that you trust. Thank you for listening to me. And don't forget to pursue your vision with a mission. And we join it with an action. And we go straight down to the kingdom of success. Because we... Generation for you transformation.
It's all about the next generation. It's all about life. It's all about going to the kingdom of success. It's all about succeeding in life, winning in life. It's all about that and having fun with life. God bless you. See you in the kingdom of success.